The most common symbol in eye doctor's office is the eye chart. Now, what is 2020 vision? So the best way to describe that is really, we call 2020 vision, right? Perfect vision. But to someone, let's say they only see 2100. Well, let's say that person 2100 stands at 20 feet. So what they can see at 20 feet, someone with perfect vision could walk back 100 feet and exactly see the same line. You also notice on your eye chart, all the letters are different, right? Well, not really. All the letters are pretty much the same letter, just kind of repeated. So they only use certain letters in the English alphabet. Like you'll notice there's a C, there's a D, we use L's, we use V's, we use O's, we use C's. So, so anyway, why are those letters repeating? So our human eye is really good at, at shape recognition. So they'll never ever use X, they'll never use Y, they'll never use Q. So the reason for that is the human eye can pick up on that pattern and know immediately, even if the image is blurry enough, that, that hey, that's a Q. So who invented this? Well, Dr. Snellen. Now, this is a famous ophthalmologist over in Europe way back in the 1800s. His chart is still used today, and it's really seen as, as kind of the standard of care and the best, the best uh, vision. Now, it varies everywhere, right? You go to the DMV, there's a digital version. At your nurses in schools, they use the paper one. Sometimes the pediatrician use the same one. They all are trying to accomplish that same thing as really trying to decide, can you see well or see, you know, not see well? Now there is something beyond 2020 vision, right? We call it, we call it almost like supervision, and that's 2015 or even 2010 vision. Now generally, we kind of just try to correct our patients at 2020. You can actually overcorrect someone and put a lecture eye strain on their eyes. Which, what does that do? That'll make near objects sometimes too blurry. So we generally, unless unless they have a job that really requires really good far vision, say like a truck driver, if I had a patient that was like a Uber driver that drove a lot at night, I try to really look at that and go, well, I'm gonna really make sure we get you awesome distance vision. Sometimes patients will just have a distance night driving pair of glasses. So, so one of those people that I always like to think about in history that had great vision was Ted Williams. So it was, it was said that he had 2010 vision and when the pitch would actually leave, leave his hand, he said he could actually see the, the seams in the ball as it started to turn, and that's why he's so able and such a great hitter. Well, he was a, also a, 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 a fighter pilot in the, uh, in the Air Force as well, so if that tells you anything. Next time you go to eye doctor's office and you look around and see, try to start, start reading those letters, you can start trying to think about why, where those letters came from. You may even know a little bit more about it than your eye doctor does.